Hello, chess lovers. I have a very beautiful game for you, played by Frank Marshall. His opponent is Stefan Levitsky, and the game was played in 1912 in Breslau. Levitsky started with e4 and e6 by Marshall. Black is going for French defense. d4, d5, knight c3, c5, knight f3, knight c6, e takes d5, e takes d5, bishop e2, knight f6, white castles kingside, bishop e7, bishop g5, black castles kingside, d takes c5, bishop e6, knight d4, and black is capturing on c5. Usually this exchange French defense leads to very boring positions, but now we will see in the game that Frank Marshall manages to find an unearthly beauty in this game. Here comes a bad move by white, knight takes e6. Well, black has an isolated pawn on d5 square and capturing on e6 and allowing black to recapture with a pawn is not a good idea for white. Now black is getting pretty central pawns and also manages to open up this f file and will put pressure on f2 square. Bishop g4, queen d6, nothing wrong with this pawn on e6, bishop h3. Now white will try to put pressure on e6, rook e8, queen d2, bishop b4. Bishop takes f6 and black is recapturing with the rook. Rook d1, queen c5, queen e2, bishop takes c3, b takes c3 and not a good move by Marshall, queen takes c3. Well, a better move was, for example, bringing the knight on c4 square, but instead we see queen takes c3 and in return, using the fact that the pawn on e6 is pinned, Levitsky captured on d5. Knight d4 and a bad move by white queen h5. On the surface, this looks like a normal move, but now we will see that white is starting to have problems. Instead, Playing queen e4 is better, but instead, overlooking black's next threat, white played queen h5. The rook on e8 is hanging, that's why Marshall first played rook f8. And now white rook is hanging, also there is a very dangerous threat, rook takes f2. If rook takes f2, then queen e1, check. White is getting checkmated. We see rook e5. Moving away the rook and also controlling the e1 square in case white plays rook takes f2. But now again, rook takes f2 is playable. You can't recapture because this time black can give check from a1 square and white will get checkmated. But instead, after rook e5, we see another strong move by Marshall rook h6. Queen g5. And now comes a fantastic move, rook takes h3, Marshall is simply grabbing the bishop on h3 square. The idea is that if g takes h3 then knight f3 check, winning the queen. After rook takes h3 we see rook c5, but in this position Frank Marshall played one of the greatest moves in chess history. If you wish you can pause the video and try to find his next move. Ready? He played queen g3, an absolutely fantastic move. And believe it or not, but white resigned. This is truly a powerful move. Right now the threat is queen takes h2, checkmate. If, for example, f takes g3, then knight e2, check, followed by rook takes f1, checkmate. Or, after queen g3, if queen takes g3, then knight e2 check, if king h1, then knight takes g3, you can't recapture with the f pawn because you will get checkmate hit. If king g1, then knight e2 check, simply followed by rook c3, black is a piece up, this is going to be an easy win. Or after queen g3, if queen e5, then black can play knight e2 check. If king h1, then rook h2 checkmate. What a great move by Frank Marshall. If you enjoyed this beautiful move, don't forget to give the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. More games are coming. Good luck.